We're learning this Vasemis Dvorum Pajas Vyaschanan from Tufresh Lamar Alif, six hundred and thirty-one. Vasemis writes, he wrote all his stories by himself. Vyaschanan Shabbos Nachmo. Vyaschanan is always Shabbos Nachmo, but he writes, it's also to, we should know, special uniqueness about this Shabbos of Nachmo. In the Medrash, we find that Sorol is showing us. Let's look at the Medrash. The Medrash says, Vyaschanan Hashem. Lotion of Tachnon, beseechment. Halocha, I mean, this is the rule. Adam Yisrael, a person who was praying, what's it then? Can he pray out loud? Chacham learned in Brochus 31, if, you, if you're praying, I might think you could have your voice heard. So we learned already, we learned from Chana. Chana spoke to her heart. I might think. He can pray all three prayers one after the other. So it says in Daniel, and at times, or three times a day, you should make your, say your brochus and pray. And, and, and admit before Hashem, I might think you should be able to pray whenever he wants. So God already said, in Jerusalem 55, evening and morning and afternoon. I shall speak and be well, and I shall will listen to my voice. I might think he can say, I, "This is what I need." And he should be oitzer. The Shlomo Melech says, "Lishmoel arina v'latfilo." The main part of prayer is to praise Hashem, and tfilo is to ask for what you need. Abishol said. This is a simon of tefillah. How does a person know if his prayers were accepted? If he had intent from his praying, he can be sure that his tefillah was accepted before our Kodesh Baruch was. It says, Tochen Libam, who, who, who makes their heart ready, Takshivos Necho. You are just like a Kodesh Baruch who listens to the tefillah, he's the one who prepares the heart. Oh, this is what the Svasemis is talking about. There are ten languages by which Tfila is called. And these are them. Shavo, which is a type of crying out. Tsaako is another type of crying out. Naako, Rino, Pegio, Pitsu, Kriya, Nipu, Ufilu, Vitachnuna. These are the ten languages. Now he explains it. Shavu and Tsa'ako we find Bayon Chumene Yisrael Mena Avoido the well-known posseg that when Kala Yisrael rested from their work then they realized their troubles by Yisak when they cried out to Hashem Na'ako means Vayishma Likim is Na'ako so HaKadosh Baruch Hu heard their cries Rino Pkiyo as it says in Yemiyo Al Tispal Ba'adom Azev Al Tiso Ba'adom do not pray for this nation and do not carry for them. Reno Tvilo, prayer, Bautiv Gabi. And that's also a lotion of prayer. Bitsu, it says in the Posik, Batsarli, when I have troubles, I call Hashem. Nipul, falling, prostrating oneself, that says, Visnapal of Ne Hashem. Mishabin says, I. After the Chet or Egel, I fell before Hashem. Pilul, Tfilo, that's if it says, Vayamay Pinchas Vayafalo. Pinchas stood and he prayed. Tachnunim, which is beseechments, this is based on our week's parsha. Eschan al Hashem. And all of them, Moshe Abbeinu, only prayed with Tachnunim. Rabbi Yechonon. Rabbi Yechonon says, From here you see that no creature. Has anything except by Akush Bogu? He has no right to request anything because Moshe Rabbeinu only came with beseechment without justification. Why didn't Moshe Rabbeinu come in any other language except for beseechments? Because we find a person should be careful, he shouldn't be caught on what he says. I shall forgive 
that, that that whom I have to forgive, who I have within my hands, and I will have mercy. Rachman, I do with him, and for those who don't have, I do it without asking if they have. At the time that Moshe Rabbeinu was wanted to go into his soul, Rabbi Bogo said, I have luck, we have plenty. So he said, didn't you tell me that if a person doesn't have, then you give it to him out of grace, and a, a present without reason? Please do so with me. And I say, I ask, don't ask for any reward, but without reward, give, give me. Because we save as Khan al But this is the Medrash. Getting back to the Svasemis, there are ten Lashonis, there are ten st- statements of prayer. They are the ways and the suggestions to come to prayer. Because prayer itself is not mentioned in these Lashonis. In the ten of them, you don't find Tfilah. That's a simon to tefillah. Prepare their hearts and then listen to them. So the question is, that's the, that's tefillah. What does it mean this is a simon? This is a, a sign. But the real preparation is, itself is from Hashem. Prepare their hearts. The person feels that he came to intent in his hearts, that he can pour out his his heart directly opposite Hashem that is the main aspect of prayer and the preparation are the languages according to how he can prepare himself either it's by crying out or from bitterness that he's hurt that's what Rashi says in the Medrash even though a, a tzaddikim might say I deserve it because of my good deeds still they should rely, Akash Bhagavad gives it to them without reason. And, and I heard the name of the Rabbi Mikotsk that he asks, Who can claim anything against Akash Bhagavad? If a person says, My house roof is leaking, who gave him the roof? He didn't have anything before. If he's lacking, if he has children, he has to keep bring, bring up, he needs money. I gave you children. Certainly, it's difficult to understand. If he has to ask, Yaakov Baruch would give it to him if he didn't have to, if, if he was worthy. So obviously he doesn't deserve it. In parentheses here, the Svasemis quotes that the Kotzke Rebbe answered that a person should understand that the ability that's given to him is because of what he might be able to accomplish. And he writes here, The words of Echocham have beauty to them. But there's a Zoyar as well. The Zoyar says when we go to sleep at night and we're judged every night, how can we be judged? We must be tzaddikim when we wake up. We should all feel we're tzaddikim. And the answer is no. The Zoyar says we're judged on the future. The future good deeds that we can do. On bad deeds were only judged on the past. By Asher Hu as we find by Yishmoel. But by good deeds, it's in the future. According to this, we understand to, that to come to a place of prayer, they have to be attached to it. And they have to rely, rely, realize that it's from Hashem. Even so, we, we can beseech that we know that we're not worthy of having our good deeds merit us whatever we want. That's why it says, V'eschana. <clears throat> and Moshe Rabbeinu beseeched as a preparation to tefillah. As it says, Lo'odam that the person is the establishment or the setting of his heart. May Hashem Man Eloshin, it ends over there. And from Hashem, gives you the words to state. Certainly, 
So when it comes to the, the level of prayer, that he can pour out his heart before Hashem, then his prayer is strictly one which is done because he wants to have contact with Hashem. And even when he needs it, he doesn't remember at that point. The Hasidim who came to their Rebbe's and their wives told him, remember to ask about this and this, and they always came back empty-handed. They forgot to ask because that was not their intent. Certainly by Kodesh Baruch when we come before him, our intent is to have a contact. And then we forget, perhaps, what we really or think we really need in this world. Kodesh Baruch causes to places in his mouth what you need. May Hashem Aloshem. The words that are necessary come from Hashem. That's why it says, Veschanan El Hashem. Moshe Rabbeinu didn't say Veschanan, and I beseech, but El Hashem. That the whole purpose was to receive El Hashem, the ability to communicate with Hashem. One could also understand this as a play on words, Chinom. As Hanon, I asked that I should receive it without reward, not for anything that I did. That's what Moshe Rabbeinu did. We should be able to pray and have our prayers realized. We'll continue to the next Sasemis only because it has very interesting insights as well as all about Sasemis do. But the Medrash says, And it continues, Who is unto me in heaven? A person says, I, I only want to have contact with Hashem. Meaning that his whole desire should be only to have contact with Shemayim. What does it mean with your whole soul? that he, The soul that he created with you. It isn't, as Hashem says, as the way people think. It, with all my heart, but rather it means that the entire existence or understanding of a person is that you should know his life comes from Akhurish Bokhu. A person doesn't raise a finger without something permitting him to do so from heaven. We are like the one who uses us, H E W E S, the one who forms us. That's Hashem Echot. He is our one and only existence. Ein Oid. That everything has its existence from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Just that it's hidden from us. That's what he wanted. And if, it, if that's the case, B'chol means with your entire being rather than with your entire heart. That's B'chol according to the Svasemes. May we merit that our prayers should be received and accepted, and we should be given the understanding of what to pray for, and we should nach us from our families. Yisrochah to the Gula Shleim and Meir of Yameinu. Amen.